It's the start of the month, meaning it's the best part of the month because it is time to unbox our latest box from Video Games Monthly. That's a lot of boxing going on, almost like wrestling or boxing, kind of a mega power kind of thing. If you're not familiar with what Video Games Monthly is, essentially what it is, it's like what Netflix used to be, where you get sent anywhere from three, four, five, or 10 retro video games right to your doorstep. And the great thing though, is unlike Netflix, you get to keep these games. Now, this month we did switch things up just a little bit where we went away from some of the imports we were getting, some of the disc-based systems. We brought in like for the Wii U and the Wii. Uh, I think I've got the PlayStation 2 on my list. Also the NES, the Famicom, the Super Famicom, even though I said I've gone away from some of the imports. But what we're gonna do, let's take a look at the games that we got in this box. Like in previous months, we got Gyrodyne playing here behind me for the Famicom, great top-down shooter. Let's take a look and see what we got in this month's box. All right, so we have removed our box from our priority mailer package, thanks to Video Games Monthly for getting this to us in pretty decent shape. And uh, post office only crinkled it a little bit, so that's on them. The way that we do this each and every month, we take a look at what we have, what the value is. One of the things I do a little bit differently is I take a look at the condition of the game, specifically cartridges, to see if they need to be cleaned, and I show you how to clean them. Something I do a little bit differently than other people do just to give you a little bit of extra value. So let's take a look at what we have in here because quite honestly, there's so many pickup videos and whatnot, pickup videos bore me. So that's where I try to do something a little bit different. So here we have a Video Games Monthly can koozie. Now, I'm not a big drinker and I don't use these a ton, but you know what? I can find a use for that. So thank you guys for that. Up next, we have some bubble wrap. And do we have a card? We do have a card. We have the social media card. We hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library. Uh, that's something I have forgotten to do. And what happens is you can get games that you've already received from them if you forget to update your library. I do apologize in advance if you hear the puppies wrestling around upstairs. And you can win three games if you do post your boxes to social media. So let's see what we have here feel any other cards so it looks like we did not get a one up two up or three up that means we've got three games that should have pretty dis decent value so our first game ooh, this is a heavy hitter the original mario party for the nintendo 64 and it does have the end label on it too cartridge looks like it's in very good shape here we're gonna take a look we'll open this up and take a look at the pins here in a little bit I've honestly never played this Mario Party. I've only played the first one that was out for the Switch. Um, interesting, I'm excited to try this out. Good value too. If I remember right, this is about a $30 game loose, so that pretty much covers the value of our box with one game. So what do we have for our others? Let's see here. Feels like a disc case. A Wii U game, this is Lego Jurassic World. And this is why I say it's important for you to update your library. I did add Wii U this month. I actually have this already, but it's a great game. Um, this will be trade bait, no fault of theirs, completely on mine. Um, in fact, I'll have to double check and I will note right here, if I even have anything listed in my Wii U library, if not, this will be a good reminder for me to go ahead and check it out. So we do have the manual and Welcome to Jurassic Park. Own all three movies on Blu-rays and DVD. See, I like getting stuff like this in here because it just, it's complete plus, really. And let's take a look at the condition of the games because that, that is an issue with Wii U games is that uh, they're very delicate and uh, if they have any nicks or scratches or anything along those lines, it can definitely cause issues. That may be my fingerprint there. The nice thing does not look like if they have run it through their resurfacing machine. You know, one of the things that I have criticized them in the past about has been a buildup of gunk and goo around the center spindle. I don't think that this has had any of those. It doesn't look like it's been polished at all, to be honest with you. So we will throw it in our system, make sure it plays. Um, Bummer, it's a duplicate, but at least it's a good duplicate. And again, my fault on there because I don't think I had my Wii U library updated to the website. And yep, I think we've got one left here. D Blob for the Wii. Now, I've never played this, um, but I've heard really good things about it. Uh, let's take a look here. 
Again, does have the manual, which I like to see. Very crispy as well. So uh, the case is an actual Wii case. It's not a, a third party. And this also looks like if it has been through their resurfacing machine that they did an excellent job. There's no buildup of gunk around the spindle here. So uh, let's take a look here if there is anything else in the box. Nope, that is it. So we did technically get a Tony box. We call it a Tony box after Tony, AKA back in the day gamer, who uh, has struck out many times, but it looks like we just have one game here that we have to open up and take a look at and see the condition of the pins. All right, so now we have our copy of Mario Party here. And one thing I've also done is I've brought in my 1UP cleaning card solution kit. Um, basically for the N64 games, I like to use the 1UP card minis um, just because it tends to fit easier between the pins here and the outer part of the case. The standard ones still work very, very well. I just prefer these. And then we do have the 1UP cleaning solution here, isopropyl alcohol. A um, little disclaimer, I work for 1UP cleaning cards, so just as a heads up there. Now to get inside of the cartridge itself, you do need to utilize what's called a security bit. And our good friend Thor gifted us one of these back at the Midwest Gaming Classic. This is a 3.8 millimeter game bit or security bit it's called. And it basically looks like a reverse Allen wrench really is what it kind of looks like here. We're just gonna pop this one out out here too. Now this one will provide us a little bit of a challenge because it has a label on top, so I'm gonna have to flip it over. Now to clean the games, you don't need to open it like this. I'm simply doing this so we can get a thorough inspection of the pins. Now one of the cool things Thor gave us too in this kit is it does have this little screw holder as well, which is awesome. Thank you again, Thor, you are amazing. Make sure you check out his channel. Hey, it's Thor. That is done. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge because I gotta bring it down. I don't want to rip that label. I may not have a choice here. I may not have a choice here. I don't want to break the tabs. Well, crap. As long as it doesn't rip, I'll be able to reapply it. Awesome, it didn't rip, so we'll be able to reapply it. Now inside the N64, you actually have this RF shield in here. There's two small Phillips head screws for that. And I will tell you from looking at this board from this distance, um, and we'll give you a closer look in a moment, these pins look gorgeous. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to do any special cleaning to this. Okay, so that comes out like so. And then there's a little plastic tray in here too that we'll have to remove. We'll just slide that out. Chip side went up. And you know, those pins look beautiful. Now, um, one thing I will say is uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, I had about a Bell's palsy. And I've been using some really thick prescription glasses since then, but I've recently cracked them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn to my handy dandy digital microscope to take a closer look just because I can't see this as well as I wish I could. It's almost like John Cena. I can't see it. All right, so here we do have a closer look at the pens and man, these are gorgeous. Look how beautiful those are. And I haven't touched them at all at this point. Uh, those are, this almost looks like it's an uncirculated, unplayed condition right now. Uh, and again, the reason why I got this uh, originally, the digital microscope that is, I had about a Bell's palsy and it severely screwed up my vision. I'm still affected by it today. And like I used to do, if you look back to, you know, 2017, 2018, early 2019, I used to do a lot of mods and soldering and whatnot on the channel. Um, since I had my Bell's palsy, I can't do any of that because I can't see fine detail like I used to, hence why I needed to pick something like this up. Um, you know, these look terrific, these look great. We're gonna go ahead and throw it back into the cartridge shell. And we're just gonna do a typical cleaning on it. Put this back in, I'm not worried, I'm gonna touch the pins here because it doesn't matter. We're gonna clean it with a one-up card in a moment. Uh, need to make sure that we get the plastic protector on there. And again, this is one of those things with my vision issues that I have where I can't quite see like I used to to get everything put back in. Get that back in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the RF board back on. This is, again, this is in beautiful, beautiful shape. 
thing. Yep, that is the Phillips head screw. That aligned. And one thing that I always suggest when you're doing stuff like this, uh, before you screw it back in, back the screw out, you'll hear it and feel it take a set, and then slowly screw it back in. And again, we're just going to get it set, unscrew slightly. There it is. Screw it back in. And the reason why I suggest doing that is that way as you're inserting the screws back into the cartridge shell, you're utilizing the existing holes. You're not cutting new ones uh, into the plastic. All right. And then we do need to line up our little tabby tabs right there. And now we are going to just drop our uh, security bits in here. Same thing, unscrew and then tighten down. And then with the other one, unscrew and tighten back down. Okay, final step, we've got to get our label back on. Take this and go like so. There we go. I dare say it's a little bit sturdier than it was before. So now let's actually clean this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one of the minis here. There's a fluid and a dry side. And all that I do is take a little bit of the one up cleaning solution. Again, it's just 99% isopropyl alcohol. Put some on the fluid side. Normally I do bottom, then top. So we're going to do bottom. Give that a scrub. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of dirt off of this because frankly, the cartridge pins look really, really clean. And I'm not seeing a lot there. Flip it around, get the top. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. And the dry side, we're just gonna dry off the pins. I mean, there's no signs of any dirt or anything on this. This is an exceptionally clean copy of Mario Party. Glad to have it in the collection. Glad to have all three of these games, quite honestly, in the collection. So it's time to add things up, see where we wound up. So taking a look at the value of these games, what we pay for is we pay for the three game a month package, which is what we got here. And with taxes, shipping and everything, we're about $47 in a month. These two games, De Blob and Lego Jurassic World for the Wii U, these are worth about $11 combined in this shape. This here is a definite win, $30 value on the original Mario Party loose. And this is a beautiful, beautiful copy. As you saw looking at the pins, this I don't know that this has ever been played as clean as these pins look. Now, the beautiful thing is that there's value beyond dollar value. So like, for example, net net, you know, we're $41 worth of games, spent about $47, net $6 loss. You know what? To be able to play this, which I've never played before, you know what, I'll eat that six bucks. Um, and these were great condition discs as well. Uh, I still need to test this out. Wii U games are just temperamental as far as scratches and whatnot. This did have that fingerprint, which quite honestly, like I say, may have come from me. Now, one of the things I will say is I did break out the digital microscope on this. Part of it is because my glasses, I broke them. And since having my attack of Bell's palsy, I unfortunately don't have the close-up vision that I used to have. It was a scary sort of situation. I've got a whole playlist talking about my Bell's palsy that I went through. Honestly, I don't wish that on anybody. And this is honestly just a tool that sometimes I unfortunately now have to rely on to see things that before I just kind of took for granted. But now if you do want to check out some of the other unboxings that we've done from Video Games Monthly, others have been nice wins like this. We've gotten some really great value, especially when it comes to import games. We've also had a couple boxes that fall a little short, kind of like this does. Other boxes that fall very short. Those are few and far between, but they do happen. And the great thing too, like I know that if I reached out to Video Games Monthly and said, you know what guys, my bad, I already had this, I know they'd send me a replacement game. Joe, I'm not asking you guys to do this. I'm completely happy with this. This will be trade bait that I'll use. It's my fault because I did not update my list. But these are fantastic games I'm glad to have in my collection. But if you want to check out, like I mentioned, some of those other Video Games Monthly unboxings, I will have them for you here on screen where you can check out some of the wins, some of the losses, some of the pushes.